Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. <clears throat> I have both of my Kias here. It's a 22 Kia Carnival and that's a 22 Kia Sorento uh, EX X line. And uh, what I'm going to show you today is a demo of the brand new plastic and rubber hydrate version 2. So we're getting rid of the original plastic and rubber hydrate and we're getting rid of the newer trim hydrate because they are very similar in the new v2 is is similar to the new trim hydrate it's a little the v2 is a little stronger than the trim hydrate there's no need to have both of them in the lineup so we're just going to run with the brand new plastic and rubber hydrate version 2 the reason we reformulated is not because of performance. Everybody loved the original plastic and rubber hydrate. People really enjoyed the performance that it provided. They uh, really enjoyed the longevity of that performance. Um, they liked the look, the actual hydration of the plastic. But the product doesn't work on its own. What you gotta understand is you have to clean all the dirt and the, the grime and the debris out of the plastic before you go putting something else in there to fill all the pores and that kind of thing um, and and you want it to basically cure inside those pores and lock itself in place so that you don't have to reapply as often so what we've done well first the reason that we reformulated the original plastic and rubber hydrate is because there was one main ingredient that that formula had to have that was always back ordered always out of stock even when we ordered plenty of that raw material to not have these problems we still ended up with an issue with uh you know getting the raw material in time and having enough even when we order in far in advance we couldn't get it uh at you know regular enough to take care of my my customers so we wanted to not lose any performance and that's exactly what we have with the version 2 it is a completely different formula because that one ingredient had to be in the other one which we had to formulate around with the new one so i wanted it to i one of my main major goals was i got to make it at least as good as it was if not better than it was and that is exactly what we've done um just like the original formula this formula relies heavily on cleaning out the plastic prior to applying it so i'm going to show you what's going on all right so this is my wife's kia carnival i washed this car i don't know what's today today's tuesday i think i washed it on sunday it's kind of clean still um but you can see how faded her trim is i mean it's <laughs> excuse me um it's super faded and it's just gray very similar to mine over here um mine was washed saturday i think i washed mine i washed hers on sunday so what i want to do for you is i want to give you a demo so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a towel that I don't absolutely love one I don't use on paint or whatever so in the marine lineup is the um, heavy-duty marine vessel cleaner and uh, this is infinite purpose cleaner it's pretty similar to the vessel cleaner except for this is this is actually a little bit stronger and more concentrated but here's what we're gonna do um, what I always recommend is to clean the plastic before you apply the plastic and rubber hydrate. What I mean by clean it, I mean clean it. Like really clean it. I just sprayed it all over that plastic. Now I'm going to scrub it and then we're going to do it again. You got to get that dirt out if you want to put something in there that's going to protect and stay there. You can't expect for something to stay if it has to compete for space in those pores, if that makes sense. So anytime you are just overloading the pores, putting 
stuff on top of stuff or you know good stuff on top of dirt which would be the bad stuff anytime you're doing that um, is not good all right so that's pretty sufficient if you have a sea dew spark or if you want to go another step you can use a boar's hair brush so a very light brush and give the plastic a scrub I don't know if you can tell but even though it's still faded out it looks more uniform now even if the shadow is there but what I mean what I'm showing you is look where I didn't clean look how inconsistent okay and look where I did clean how clean and smooth that looks okay so it will help your trim even if you're not going to put something on it for pr protection now it is hot out here today you don't need anything super fancy for application I'm just gonna use an old towel I'm gonna fold it up and make a little applicator out of it because I don't feel like digging for an applicator so here we go we've got the new plastic and rubber hydrate version 2 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lid off because there's a seal it's a brand new bottle time to get her done all right seals out shake her up a little bit then it's kind of hard to do this by myself I'm gonna go ahead and apply the product to the applicator and you'll notice you use barely any all right not clean super clean and now protect it now you want to use three coats of this the first time you ever use it this actually has polymers in it and ceramic it is a very strong solution and it does hydrate and it locks inside the pores very much like the original did but this actually should last even longer and protect even better from the elements all right so all right you put one good even coat on okay and you let that dry for an hour all right so we've got clean and we've got protect nothing all the protection and so the first time you ever apply this you want to make sure you put three coats on an hour apart I know it sounds like a lot it's really not if you want this stuff to work as well as I know you want it to work is basically you want to apply it and never have to do it again um, this new formula on the sea dew sparks here in the saltwater environment of Tampa Bay we're seeing over a year with version 2 where we were seeing up to a year with version 1 so um, this has been a long time coming guys we've been trying to reformulate this for a long time it's taken a very long time to find another consistent formula that functions well and improves the performance over the older stuff for all intents and purposes, you see where it's been applied to, and you can tell how amazing it looks. So normally what you would do, if you want the most out of that, you're going to give that an hour, and then you're going to come back out here and you're going to apply another coat, just like that. But you generally do all the trim. I'm going to put this on here, and we're just going to keep watching that in a month in two months in six months in a year we're going to come back to that and we're going to see what it looks like um so if this were the third coat 
what you do is you take a dry microfiber towel and you would just come out here and knock off the bulk of that third coat. That's all you're going to do. You're just going to make it so that the surface of it is not wet anymore. That's all we're doing is knocking off the bulk. This has zero other function other than you don't want all the excess just chilling on top. Because just like anything that's wet, it's going to attract dirt and dust and grime. But once you wipe it, it does slightly mute the look and it makes it look so good and professional. Um, I'm going to back my car up so that you can see both of those sides in the sun real quick. Probably wasn't the smartest idea to shoot this video right here in the driveway where my car is blocking the sun. So hang tight. I'll be, bring her right back. All right. I got it moved out of the way. Now you can see the difference. So as I explained to you before, this side I did nothing to. I'm not sure why that one patch there in the center is darker than the rest of the trim. But if I can get my shadow out of the frame, it would be awesome. <clears throat> you can see what's been treated. Looks awesome. And what hasn't been treated, well looks like poo so that is how you use the brand new plastic and rubber hydrate version 2 and we're gonna do a quick one more quick demo we're gonna do we're gonna do just the uh, back end right here all right so you just get your cleaner your infinite purpose cleaner or your heavy duty vessel cleaner. The vessel cleaner is specifically designed for this. The infinite purpose cleaner is not, not designed for it. It just wasn't specifically designed with the plastic and rubber hydrate in mind. It does clean well. It will function the same. So we'll just give you a little bit more spray. I'll tell you, prep is key. You gotta get it prepped up properly. All right, good to go. Got some gum over here. I don't care about any of that. I'll get that done in the detail. This winter, I do these cars. Our cars just get random washes through the summer. In the winter time is when they get the loving. All right, that's super clean. Now, we're going to take the product again. And we are going to... Hey, hey! Neighbors. Gotta love them. So I got some product on the microfiber. And just like I showed you before, it, it's not, I mean, this is probably the easiest job ever. You just wipe it on. So you just wipe it on. It has a penetrant in it, so it will automatically start, start to soak inside the plastic. It does not just stay on the surface. It penetrates into it. So here is your first coat, and it looks awesome. really see the big benefit there I will not be putting three coats on this car right now it's just gonna get that one because it just came out here to do your demo so there you go donezo how faded and gross and how nice that corner looks yeah buddy all right plastic and rubber hydrate Version 2 is shipping now at detailjuice.com. If you got a Sea Dew Spark, you have to have this stuff. This will fix it. This will fix it, and you won't have to completely dedicate your life to reinstalling this stuff. <laughs> All right, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. And uh, check out detailjuice.com for all your product needs. Uh, the plastic and rubber hydrate is in the Marine series. So if you go to the shop tab on the button bar and hit the Marine series products, you'll find plastic and rubber hydrate version 2 in there. Thanks guys for watching. If you need me, 813-846-4406 is my cell.